The following module will walk you through the steps for creating a variable rate seeding prescription from a soil type layer in Pioneer's Fit Studio program. Select the level in the domain tree that you would like to create the variable rate prescription for. The options include the operation name, the farm name, or the field name. Note, there's a proposed plant beneath the corn crop zone in this field. This indicates that a product has been assigned to the field in Fit Field Planner or in Fit Studio's proposed plant section. This is required prior to creating a variable rate prescription. To create a variable rate prescription using a soil type layer, right mouse click on the uh, operation, farm, or field name, choose create a VRS suggestion, and select from soil types. Select a field and product combination from the list on the left. Then press the Suggest Fields button in the middle to populate the field being suggested. Next, assign seeding rates for each soil type, keeping in mind the product that has been suggested for that field. Please note that you can assign different seeding rates to each product in field combination. In this example, there are two products and field combinations in the Fields Available to Suggest box. If I select both rows or use the Suggest All button, I can generate two prescriptions, one for each product. However, we will assign the same seeding rate for both products in this soil type. If I choose to select just one product in Field Combination or use just the Suggest Fields button, I can assign a seeding rate for each product at a time. When you are done assigning for an individual product, press the Assign button. When this is complete and the product disappears from your Fields Being Suggested box, you may populate the next field and product combination and continue to assign new populations based on that product. When the final field and product combination has been assigned, press the Assign button to finish and choose Close to close your seeding rate assignment box. After assigning seeding rates, a VRS prescription layer, or layers if multiple products have been assigned to the field, will appear in the domain tree underneath the proposed plant. A VRS icon is identified by a red check mark next to each product name. Note that a red check mark on the icon next to the product under proposed plant identifies that a variable rate prescription has been created for this product. If no red check mark exists, then a prescription is not currently assigned for that particular product. After assigning the seeding rates to your soil types, you have the option to use a VRS editor extension to make any customizations necessary, like merging seeding rates for soil types or changing seeding rates that have been assigned. To use the VRS editor, follow these steps. First, select the field and product that you would like to change. Next, select the VRS editor extension from your VRS menu dropdown. Next, you can select a polygon on the map that you would like to make a change in the seeding rate for. The seeding rate from the selected polygon will be highlighted in blue on the VRS editor. Change the population for the selected rate. Change any other seeding rates as necessary. And when you are complete, press Save to save the prescription. Make any additional changes to seeding rates, check blocks, or other polygon edits that are necessary for your variable rate seeding prescription. When all of your edits are complete, the map polygons will have changed to the colors based on the seeding rates that you have entered. The VRS Editor extension helps us to differentiate ourselves from the competition by helping to correctly set seeding rates on each field, ultimately getting you the right product on the right acre.